Imagine you wake up one day, and there's an AI that doesn't just answer questions, it thinks like a human. It doesn't just generate text, it reasons, breaks down problems, and even cross-checks its own work before giving you an answer. Sounds wild, right? Well, that's exactly what Elon Musk is promising with Grok 3. Today, we're diving deep into what Grok 3 really is, its insane new big brain mode, how it stacks up against ChatGPT, and why Musk is calling it scary smart. And trust me, there's one feature I will talk about in here that could shake up the AI industry. AI is evolving faster than anyone expected. One day there's a leader, the next a new contender shakes things up. And now Musk just dropped Grok 3 into the ring. That's exactly why we created the AI handbook to cut through the noise and bring you the real story. So if you're tired of the hype and want straight up AI insights, hit that subscribe button. Because trust me, what's coming next is even crazier than Grok 3. Now let's get into it. Alright, so first, what exactly is Grok 3? If you've been following AI, you know Elon Musk has been pushing his own AI company, XAI, as a direct competitor to OpenAI. And now, with Grok 3, he's stepping up in a big way. This new model is 10 times more powerful than Grok 2, and it runs on a massive AI supercomputer called Colossus, which is packing around 200,000 GPUs. Basically, XAI isn't playing around anymore. They're bringing in serious hardware to back up their claims. Last year, Elon decided that really the only way for XAI to succeed, for XAI to build the best AI out there, is to build our own data center. So um, we didn't have a lot of time, but because we wanted to give you Grok free as quickly as possible, so really we realized we have to build the data center in about four months. Um, it turned out it took us 122 days to get the first 100K GPUs up and running, and that was a monumental effort uh, to be able to do that. Um, it's, it's, we believe it's the biggest uh, fully connected H100 cluster of its kind. Um, and uh, we didn't just stop there. We actually decided that we need to double the size of the cluster pretty much immediately if we want to build uh, the kind of AI that we want to build. Um, so we then had another phase, um, which we haven't talked about publicly yet. So this is the first time that we're talking about this. Uh, where we doubled the capacity of the data center yet again. Um, and that one only took us 92 days. So uh, we've been able to use all of these GPUs, use all of this compute to improve Grok. But here's where it gets interesting. Grok 3 isn't just another chatbot. It's designed to think differently. It doesn't just generate responses based on patterns. It actually breaks down complex problems, verifies its own answers, and improves its reasoning over time. And that brings us to its biggest feature yet. This is where things get crazy. Grok 3 introduces something called Big Brain Mode and yeah, that name is so Musk, right? So, what does it do? Think of it like a turbocharged AI mode. When activated, Grok 3 taps into higher computing power, allowing it to tackle much deeper reasoning tasks. This means better accuracy, more logical thinking, and more human-like problem-solving. There's also a think mode, which is the normal reasoning mode for everyday questions. But the fact that XAI is segmenting reasoning like this is really interesting. It could mean that AI models in the future will have tiers of intelligence, depending on what task they're handling. This is a big deal because one of the biggest problems with AI today is hallucination, AIS making up facts. With big brain mode, Grok 3 is trying to self-correct before giving you an answer. If it works as well as they claim, it could be a major leap forward. And this ties directly into another game-changing feature, Deep Search. Deep Search is XAI's new take on an AI-powered search engine, and it's designed to make research, brainstorming, and fact-checking way more efficient. Instead of just giving you links, it generates detailed summaries, insights, and cross-references to verify information. If that sounds familiar, it's because this is basically a direct challenge to Perplexity AI and ChatGPT's browsing tool. The idea here is to save time by letting Grok3 do the heavy lifting for you. This could be huge because right now, AI-generated research still requires a lot of manual verification. If DeepSearch actually delivers reliable results, 
it could change the way we approach learning, journalism, and even technical research. Yep. So, but we believe here at XAI, getting the best pre-training model is not enough. That's not enough to build the best AI. And the best AI you need to think like a human. You need to contemplate about all the possible solutions, self-critique, verify all the solutions, backtrack, and also think from the first principle. That's a very important capability. So we believe that as we take the best pre-trained model and continue training it with reinforcement learning, it will elicit the additional reasoning capabilities that allows the model to become so much better and scale not just in the training time, but actually in the test time as well. So we already found the model is extremely useful internally um, for our own engineering, saving hours of uh, time, uh, hundreds of hours of uh, coding time. So All right, let's be real. Is Grok 3 actually ahead of the competition, or is this just another overhyped AI drop? Well, the numbers don't lie. On benchmark tests, Grok 3 is outperforming other models in math and science reasoning, even at PhD level complexity. That's impressive. Besides, in chat Botarina benchmarks, Grok 3 pulled a score of 1402, beating Gemini 2.0 Flash 1385, and even going toe to toe with GPT for O. Now, if you're wondering what chat Botarina is, it's basically the ultimate battleground for AI models. It's a platform where different AIs go head to head in blind comparisons, meaning real users interact with them without knowing which AI they're testing. They vote on which responses feel more natural, helpful, and accurate. And since these tests are done by humans, not just automated metrics, winning here actually means something, it shows how well an AI performs in real-world conversations. And get this, before anyone even knew what Grok 3 really was, an earlier version was secretly competing under the alias Chocolate and outperforming AI models from OpenAI, Google, and DeepSeek. Yeah, Musk's AI was already flexing its strength before its official release. And here's the thing, while competitors focus on accessibility and integrations, Grok 3 is pushing raw intelligence forward. So let's see how Grok does on those interesting, challenging benchmarks. Uh, so yeah, so reasoning, again, refers to those models that actually thinks quite, for quite a long time before it tries to solve a problem. So. In this case, uh, you know, around a month ago, the Graph 3 pre-training finished. So after that, we worked very hard to put the reasoning capability into the uh, current Graph 3 model. But again, this is very early days, so the model is still currently in training. So right now, what we are going to show to people is this beta version of the Graph 3 reasoning model. Alongside, we also are training a mini version of the reasoning model. So essentially, on this plot, you can see uh, the Graph 3 reasoning beta and then Graph 3 mini reasoning. The Graph 3 reasoning mini reasoning is actually a model that we train for a much longer time. And you can see that sometimes it actually performs slightly better compared to the Graph 3 reasoning. This also just means that there's a huge potential for the Graph 3 reasoning because it's trained for much less time. Um, so, all right, so let's actually look at what, how, how it does on those three benchmarks. So Jimmy also introduced already. So essentially, we're looking at three different areas, mathematics, science, and coding. Um, and for math, we're picking this high school competition math problem. Um, for science, we actually pick those PhD level science questions. Um, and for coding, it's also actually pretty challenging. It's competitive coding and also some uh, lead code, which is some code inter interview problems that people usually get when they interview for companies. So on those benchmarks, you can see that the Graph 3 actually performed quite well. It's designed to think bigger, reason better, and reduce AI errors, and that could make all the difference as AI keeps evolving. If Grok 3 keeps improving at this rate, it might not just be competing with ChatGPT, it could be redefining the entire AI landscape. Elon Musk has already hinted that Grok 3 is just the beginning. The next step? Adding a voice interface, so Grok can talk like ChatGPT's voice mode and planning to explore multimodal interactions in future iterations, such as Grok 4. Beyond that, Musk has been pushing for AI integration in Tesla and even Neuralink. Imagine a future where your AI isn't just a chatbot, it's in your car, your phone, and maybe even directly connected to your brain. 
That's the long game Musk is playing, and Grok 3 is just a piece of the puzzle. Besides, Grok 3 is proving it's not just another AI, it's a serious challenger that's redefining how we think about reasoning and intelligence in AI models. But speaking of AI pushing boundaries, Elon Musk isn't stopping at chatbots, he's taking AI straight into gaming. That's right, XAI just announced its own AI-powered gaming studio, and it's aiming to shake up the entire industry. The studio, called XAI's Gaming Studio, wants to create games that are fully AI-driven, immersive, and free from corporate influence. Are we ready for uh, Game Studio at X AI? Yes. <laughs> so we're launching uh, an AI gaming studio at XAI. If you're interested in joining us and building AI games, uh, please join XAI. We're launching an AI gaming studio. We're announcing it tonight. Let's go. <laughs> Epic games. But wait, that's an actual game studio. I mean... <laughs> and here's the wild part. They're launching a new cryptocurrency, X Games, that might be tied to the gaming ecosystem. Imagine AI generated worlds that constantly evolve, or games that adapt to your playstyle in real time. If this works, it could completely change how games are made. Now, whether this becomes a revolution or just another hype cycle, we'll have to see. But one thing's for sure Musk is making big moves in AI far beyond chatbots. And that brings us to the big question, where does Grok 3 really stand in the AI race? Do you think it has what it takes to surpass ChatGPT and become the leading AI model? Or is it still too early to tell? Drop your thoughts in the comments. AI is evolving faster than ever, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. So hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay tuned, because the next wave of AI is just getting started. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious.